This car is a Honda Accord 150,000 mile. I have never done alignment. Unlike cars such as BMW, it's more expensive suspension. You need a more frequent adjustment. This car just doesn't need it. But sometimes when you do need the adjustment, make sure you see the number and uh, know whether it's really necessary or not. I have my tires changed at Sears Auto Shop and they give me an alignment report. The green means it's okay. The right means it needs the alignment. And I also recommend comprehensive alignment check which means you have to pay for it and if you actually to pay for the alignment itself is $85 the green means the alignment in between certain two values those are the degree in angle the right means I need an alignment but then I ask specifically what is the number offset they can't say unless I pay for the comprehensive alignment but he mentioned it probably is a marginal maybe I don't have to do alignment but it's up to me and they weren't it, it's not good for the tire and blah 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 but I don't feel that uh, when I drive the car there's an alignment problem so I thought I would have an alignment done maybe a, a second place even if it's cost me money i want to save your money to avoid unnecessary alignment and i'm going to show the real professional alignment how this is done so for those curious it will be a good video for you as well first three different angles camber toe and cast what is a camber camber here's the base it's an angle with the two lines the first line is the base the wheel and the base form an angle this is the angle this is the negative angle if the wheel tilt this this way, this angle is a positive camber. And then it's the toe angle between those two lines. This is the toe. Toe inward is the positive. And the toe is outward, the negative. And then it's the caster. If you have a rod here, and this is the angle. This is a, between those two. This direction is forward. Between those two lines, that's the angle. The positive angle, this rod is this with the negative angle. So I the car to wheel works on uh, one of the higher alignment place to see how professionally how they do alignment. First, they have to drive the car to a platform very flat, check all the tires, make sure they have a, a even pressure. So if the pressure is not the same, the alignment will not look good. Uh, it, it just helps it out. It, it helps it's not bad, but it's better for it to be level. Okay. Then there's a line to make sure the steering wheel and uh, the brake will not move. Steering wheel, yeah. the lock. Also for the brake pedal. Oh, for the brake. Yeah, the brake pedal. I have an emergency brake, right? I can put that on. Is that okay. sufficient? Uh, no, you always want the parking brake, the brake pedal also, because the some vehicles the parking brake doesn't work too good. Yeah. So you want both. You put both of them on. Put both of them. Parking brake and the brake pedal. Oh, the brake pedal. And then the steering wheel lock. That way the steering wheel doesn't move on you. Yeah. yeah. Of course, the platform itself, there's an adjustment. You can move. Alright, well, let's just do the adjustments on the front toe. You take these pins out. And then they let the tire move around. Oh, tire move. So, uh, move around, does it uh, measure the weight of the car? Yeah. It doesn't measure the weight. No, it doesn't measure the weight, but there's um, bearings inside of it that handle the weight of the car. Uh -huh. So it lets you actually do the measurements and see how the back one has these plates too that move around too. Back it doesn't have the same kind of a no, plate. No, it's just this longer one. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing will move. Yeah, so uh. the rear adjustment. Okay, that's a uh, cool. That's a uh, expensive uh, equipment. Yeah. yeah it's expensive. But there are people on YouTube just do it yourself. It doesn't have the equipment. I don't know how exactly how they do it. Themselves. How they do it? Sound. Maybe they do it like like your vehicle, the Honda. Uh huh. Those are the one of the easiest cars to learn on how to do alignments. Okay. Just because it has a front and rear toe only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's easy. That's it. Okay. And maybe all they do is like turn it a little bit and then okay. drive it, and okay. the steering wheel they feel is straight. Okay. That's good enough for them. Oh yeah. But it's, it's not the specifications. And then I noticed on the very 
third top, there's a laser sword. The laser sword will shoot on four wheels. On the wheel, they attach mirror. I think that's like two thousand dollar mirror. The cap, maybe the caps, yeah. Yeah, so I can get the the wheel out. No, so I can get the sensors to clamp on the rim. You're gonna clamp on here. Oh, okay. So the I gotta remove the center cap. Oh, okay. Cap will let him step on. So this is the machine. So you need to clamp on a device on the wheel. And this is the mirror to reflect the laser. Is that yeah. the idea? Okay. Sensor reflect the laser. I don't see a laser. Where's the uh, laser? There's like there's the camera. Oh, that's the camera. Yeah. So the camera, one is shooting, one is receiving. Yeah, you can't actually see the lasers, but yeah, if, yeah. You, if you block it, you see on the screen that you're blocking it. See, so you block the sensor, and it won't, it won't give you the readings. Yeah, the right. Oh, so okay. Move, then it again. So this is the reading. What is the problem now? So your, so this is your rear axle. Okay. Your toe, your your toe on your on your right side is out. Okay. So that will give you a total toe. Your total toe is out just because of how much this one's out. Okay. The difference of these two would be is your total toe. That's what makes that out. Oh, okay. And your rear camber's out on that side, but since there's no adjustment on it, okay. you have to buy an aftermarket part for that. Okay. And then um, the toe is not big, right? It's small. Well, your your toe your toe wears out. The tire more than the camber, so it's more, um, it's like more an aggressive wear your toe than the camber. Yeah. So you, you will notice the toe more than the camber does. And this is your front, your front axle, so your front toe is out too. Oh, to uh, front toe out? So that's a, a 0 0.08 positive, meaning outward, right? Yeah. This, but but why sometimes it's green, sometimes it's, it's red? It's right at the border. See how the specification is 0.08. Okay. And that's the spe that's where it's at. 0 .08. Oh, okay. It's a minor. Yeah. Okay. So it's so it's right on the borderline. Okay. See how so it's just jumping. Yeah. And okay. It swings at, at 10. Yeah. They have to wear it. Oh. The the rear has more, right? Has more out. Well, it's it's out on one side, but then just because I was saying that it's out one more than the other so you, it gives you a total toe your total toes out but it's also like almost borderline now borderline but see how this one's almost borderline too and i can show you the the aftermarket part you would need for the for the camber that's what it looks like oh that would fix your rear camber that would fix yeah so you they would you have to um, give you a quote for that and yeah. then the price on that plus the labor and then um Okay. They would order that if you would want to that rear camera fix, and that's your home measurements right there. Yeah, so it's up and around. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix the rear toe, okay. the front toe, and since there's no camera adjustment, I can't do anything about that now until, unless you decide to get that rear camera arm. Okay. And that would be it. So with this kind of setup, you adjust any of the uh, alignment on each any side, front or rear, actually will affect the whole alignment. Other will change. So what they do is the adjust in real time will show you the change on all four alignment. And it's uh, like real time that, well, this is on you know, just a little bit, this, you, you, you will see the screen change oh yeah it's live oh that's very easy yeah, yeah it's live so yeah. so what i'm what i'll do is just do that put it on the rear yeah and then uh, just bring it in a little closer so i can see it better from farther okay and then all i'm actually adjusting it while i'm adjusting it, it's bringing it in closer while i'm doing the adjustment oh so okay. it's live yeah okay so it's live that way i'm adjusting it and it's actually moving at the same time this is the adjustment for the tall Right. So if you undo this, what what is this tick here? It shows the measurement of each each segment. So in other words, if this is over here, it will push this out a little bit. You yeah. see how it's not perfectly circle; it's kind of elliptical. Oh, I see. You have this part here, that kind of out. If you have this part over here, it moves it back in. Oh, right. okay. Same thing on this side. Those are the adjustments. That's basically what you want to take a picture of. You 
can see it probably better on this side. It's kind of gold. Just so the, this is the one? Yeah. You'll uh, loosen it and then again you'll be looking at the computer. Okay. And then finding out uh, you know how much to loosen in it. Okay. And that's like the toe right there. Oh uh, okay, so this is the toe. So same thing on this side. The same thing adjustment here. Okay. For the toe again. Same as the other side, you see it? Yeah. And it really, it really depends. Every vehicle is a little different. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. This one? This is the toe? Or yeah, that's the toe. toe. That's the tie rods okay. for the toe. So you adjust uh, this uh, yeah. This one? Yeah. And loose, loosen this? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And, uh, and tie you adjust that one. Adjust this one. Okay. Yeah. So this is the lock. Yeah, that's a lock. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. And what about the camber? Is the camber, this... these vehicles don't have a camber adjustment. Oh, it doesn't have a camber? Well, on the Hondas, most Hondas on this style, they don't have a, okay. a, a camber adjustment. And then the like some newer models or some different models have it on the strut, which are the strut bolts, but this one doesn't have it. Okay, so this is not the, the, the no, screw, that's, it's that's not matter. adjustable? No, this, this doesn't have an adjustment for camber. Okay, but the measurement shows the cambers yeah. off. What do you do if it's camber? Uh, you can off? get actually an, uh, an aftermarket one for the upper ball joint. Ball joint? Yeah, this up here, this one right here. Oh. This one right here. There's an aftermarket uh, ball joint that you can adjust it there. Oh, okay. And I've seen some where you can actually do the upper control arm also as it's slotted. So it's okay. either one of those two options. Yeah, okay. but on this type of vehicle, it doesn't have a camber adjustment stock. Okay, it doesn't uh, have a You have to go with aftermarket parts. Okay, so camber is this. Uh, I think there's another third adjustment. Yeah, caster. Caster. Yeah, there's no adjustment for caster also. No, no. no adjustment for caster. You have to go to a frame shop for that. Oh, uh, frame yeah. shop. Okay. Yeah, but if, um, if the vehicle hasn't been in an accident or the nothing like that major, then caster should be pretty good on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you only go for a test, it's $20. One thing, if you have a time, you want to play with this, you don't have anything to measure. Next video, I may do a, a do-it-yourself measurement so you don't have to use expensive uh, equipment. But if you don't want to go through that trouble, you can just make a test $20. Then you do adjustment yourself and then maybe go back uh, to do another test, another $20, which is uh, $40 versus what I did, even though it's not necessary, but I do want to show you the result. They charged me $80 to make the adjustment. The alignment actually is not needed. You see, you see 0.17, this is a 0.16. And the same here, 1.5 is my camber range. And here's 1.6 minus. The, the, the toe for this car can be changed, but the camber cannot be changed. So at least don't pay the ex expensive alignment. I, if you do want the alignment, just pay for the cheaper one, adjusting the toe. For the camber, they quoted me a 220 because that's an adjustment. The Honda, you can't just adjust the camber. It's not designed for adjustment. After market, they make a adjustable. You can, you have to install that. I check you can buy online Amazon like a hundred instead of a 200 if you did uh, the alignment as I did here in the shop they have a 12 months warranty you can go back anytime so you can install this device yourself and go back to have them test again for free